So you've written a book and you would like to make it available to larger audiences by creating an audiobook. This video demonstrates how to record audio of your book using text to speech. So first of all, what you need to do is make sure you have the best voice selected on the computer. So I'm going to go to my system preferences, I go to speech, and I'm going to check the different voices. Now it comes with a couple of default voices, but if you click on customize, you can actually choose other voices that maybe are better. Um, for example, I went through and I checked a bunch of the voices and I found that Samantha was a very good female sounding voice. And I also found that Alex was a pretty good English uh, sounding voice. There are other voices that you can do as well. If you click on a voice, you can download it and that will put it on your computer. They are by default not all downloaded, but you can download more voices. Some of the voices are a little bit better than others. So make sure you check the different voices to see what works best for you. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and choose one that I've already selected. I'm going to choose the voice Alex because I feel it's a pretty good one. I like to speed it up just a little bit to kind of get rid of that computer sound. Most people recognize me by my voice. So I like that. I think it's good. I look at the key. It says, here's the key I need to do to record this option escape. Perfect. So now I come in here. Now, if you have a book, chances are it's going to be a lot bigger than this. When you record this, it's going to be a lot to edit unless you do this simple trick. What I recommend doing is going through, press Command F or search and type in chapter. And everywhere that you have a chapter, this is what I recommend doing. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to choose replace. And I would replace chapter with a couple of commas and then write chapter again and a couple of commas again and then click on replace all. Now obviously I don't have very many options to replace here but what this does is this causes the computer to pause for a time period. Then when you go to edit you're going to see sound waves drop off where there's a pause, sound wave, drop off and then sound waves and it's going to make it easy to find where to edit your chapters. Then once you have done that, simply select all, command A, and you're going to then press alt escape. Oh, before you do this, I forgot to mention, I used the program called Camtasia to record. Camtasia is a great recording program and it looks like this. And essentially the way Camtasia works is you click on the record button and this window pops up. Uh, right now I'm using this microphone. You can see what's happening and you want to make sure that you choose system audio to record and I don't know if it's going to record because I'm recording with a uh, quick time right now, but I'm going to click start recording. It's going to give you a countdown and then what you do is you select all and you press alt escape. You've just written a book and you would like to make it available to larger audiences by creating an audio book. This video demonstrates how to record audio of your book. Notice the pause. Chapter. Pause. One. This is an example of a first. Pause. Chapter. Pause. Of a book. All right, so we have that. Now, when you're done, you come up here and you stop recording. And then this will open it up inside of Camtasia. You can drag this down here and you can edit it. This is an example of my book. Now, I can tell right here is a new chapter. Do you see how I mentioned that you have sound waves? Nothing. Sound wave? Nothing. So if I come right here. Chapter six. There's chapter six. If I zoom out a little bit here. Can you see where chapter five and chapter four start? Looks like it's somewhere right about here. So I can come in here. I listen. Chapter 5. There's chapter 5. Let me zoom out again. Here you can see everywhere there's this line break. It's a new chapter. It's a very simple trick, but it allowed me to record a five hour book uh, and then go back and edit simply by finding the chapters where the sound changes. And I could cut these individual clips and assign them to each chapter in my book. 
So this is a great way to expand your audience and make your book more accessible to other people. I strongly recommend using Camtasia. It is a great program. You can also use QuickTime, which is what I'm using to record this video. But I did notice that QuickTime doesn't do as well for recording a four or five hour recording of the audio of the book. Uh, so I do like using QuickTime. I think it works wonderful. Hopefully this video has been helpful and that you're able to see how you can easily add audio. So once you have identified where your chapters are, chapter eight. it's very easy. Inside of Camtasia, you se select the track, you cut it. I actually put a little bit extra here as well, so I can go ahead and cut this. I can zoom in. Now I'd recommend listening to it just to make sure that there's enough space there. I can tell there's a little bit too much. And then cut the other end of it as well. So I come over here to the end of the chapter, which I can see is right here. I'm going to then zoom in. And I'm going to cut the chapter right here by splitting it. I'm going to move this a little bit. Now I want to render just this section only from Camtasia. And so what I do is I move my playhead, I set the green at the very beginning, and the red at the very end. And I like to zoom in just to make sure I did get the beginning, because sometimes it snaps not quite to the beginning, just because I split it. If I didn't split it, it would have been just fine. So now that I have that set up, I can go ahead and click on Share. And I'm just going to export the audio, and I'm going to choose what I want to call the audio, and export it. I would probably name it something like chapter and whatever the chapter is. It's a very simple way, but it's a way to expand your reach with your book by adding an audio component. I hope this has been helpful. Have a great day.